is it. This is the, this is literally Call of Duty right now. It literally is. I'm Oh, that BRDM is oh, dead! Oh my god. BRDM's good? It's dead? Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just got that, that dude hit by a fucking balance. You can hop out of your seat wall as soon as I can. We can get that shot. So, welcome to another IBG Mod Spotlight. Today we're looking at the AC-130 gunship. Uh, it's currently in beta, being built by the USAF mod team. Uh, you guys probably have seen this around before. It has a 105mm howitzer cannon on it, 45mm Bofors cannon, and a 25mm Gatling cannon on it. As I mentioned, it is in beta. Uh, they're still ironing out some of the kinks of it. If you guys take this out and try it for yourself, then you'll see there's just a few things that they're still working out. Uh, but I'm sure when this is a finished product, then it's going to be even greater than it is right now. Uh, some of the cool features that they've already implemented, there is an autopilot system where you are able to set an orbit around a target. Uh, you can simply mark on map, set the radius, altitude, and speed, and it follows it automatically. So in theory, you could man this with just one person for an operation, or you can have up to, I believe it's seven people in all different seats uh, with similar functionalities, but slightly different roles. Uh, there's also a target marking implementation that they have through the scroll menu that allows you to mark targets for all of your crew to be able to reference whenever you are on an operation and need to call in different fire missions. Uh, and one of the most impressive things they've done here is they completely reworked the impacts and sounds uh, from any of the normal Blackfish gunship uh, in the base game of Arma, um, that there's much more impact to it. You can really tell that there's a lot of kick uh, to all of the cannons and when they hit something then you can tell it's doing a lot of damage uh, so they add a lot to that impact to the feel of it you really feel like you're doing a lot and any of your guys on the ground uh, when they hear that 25 millimeter gatling spooling up then uh, it's quite terrifying uh, one of the downsides of this though is that the impact shrapnel is not very high res so just know that if you are unfortunate enough to be on the receiving end of this thing then don't expect incredibly high-res explosions, but from a distance and from the air, then it looks absolutely incredible, especially compared to some of the vanilla uh, implementations of it. So overall, I give this thing about a 6 out of 10. You have to keep in mind that it is currently in beta. They are working out a lot of the details of it, but knowing the USAF, USAF mod team, uh, some of the really impressive stuff they've done, they're going to iron it out. They're going to make this thing even greater than it already is. And... You'll find out just from flying around in the thing, uh, sitting in all the different seats, work, uh, working with the autopilot, that this thing is incredibly high fidelity. They're doing a great job with it, and it's only going to get better, so make sure and go check this out.